All right, guys, we've got a couple extractions here. Um, a lot of clogged pores on the nose, blackheads, whiteheads. We're going to get these out for her. Something that she deals with quite a bit. Let's start kind of at the end here. A little pressure with Q-tips. Get these little strings coming out. Now you can use Q-tips here, you can use an extractor, and you can do finger squeezes. When you get that little loop, you can start getting these deeper blackheads there like that. That's good. Another here, see if we can get some out of there. And commonly, over time, we get these in large pores, and that's what leads to this kind of chronic filling up. We don't stop producing oil. As long as we're producing oil, we're going to keep getting clogged pores. You'll see on some of these, you get a little deeper with finger squeeze, and you start getting some of these out. Okay, that's good. And you don't have to squeeze very hard to get those. Right at the bridge, it's cartilage right there, so then I'll squeeze from the side to get those out. Come down here as well, get a little squeeze on the edge. That's good. Moderate pressure, highly tolerable. Now we're going to turn a little bit here, we're going to come to that tip of the nose here. Now you have a couple there. We're not squeezing very hard at all. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it does. Oh, here's a little pressure there. Kind of move around. be thinking what if I kiss somebody and they smell that <laughs> <laughs> oh my nose <laughs> oh that's okay that's why we cleared oh. out so you can go kiss some people <laughs> that's good oh. a little pressure here to tip these are some more drier like the blackheads they're going great come over here see it's time to be kissing people <laughs> that's that's right you're not shouldn't be kissing anybody with COVID <laughs> A little yeah. pressure on that one. You had a little hair here. I was going to get out there for you. I haven't kissed anybody in 13 right years. You see that hair down in there. 13 years. Not a man. No, oh, man. Well, we're going to get you clear and get you kissing in 2021. I thought you <laughs> said you were going to introduce me to somebody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that boy. would be nice. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, before, you had a little cyst over in this area. And I know... You know, it's a chronic thing for you, but it looks like you're keeping that pretty good. It's not too full over here. I know it's sensitive right there by the nose. And we've had quite a bit there in the past for you. Well, you're pretty good today. And I stopped using all that cream and stuff on my face, too. I just yeah, I guess you're not clogging the pores too much mm -hmm. with excessive cream. It's a little blackhead there. See if we can get that out for you. Here it comes. Just a little one. Good. Let's see in that pore. Nope. That's just a dilated pore whiner there. Large pore. That's good. There. There we go. You always have one little pocket here I try to clear for you. Nice. We're getting some. Very good. You did great. It's just like getting a tune-up for your car. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come in, we clear some of these. Turn this way just a little. Get you back out online, see if you're meeting any guys. <laughs> <laughs> I've had so many people that I know meet somebody online. Yeah, my and daughter. Yeah, it's amazing. My daughter met her husband on Facebook nine years ago through one of her friends. Isn't that great? Still I mean, married. Yeah. She met her first husband on Facebook. <laughs> I mean, on uh, on uh, online dating site. Yeah, bringing people together. That's for mm -hmm. sure. I thought about going on eHarmony. Yeah. Turn back this. They way. have one called "This Your Time." 
Yeah, I've heard that too for people like over 45 or 50 maybe, mm -hmm. something like that. I'll tell you, it becomes a numbers game then, you know. When you, mm -hmm. when you go to a local place, you meet two or three people, you may have 50, 100 people that you're running into okay. um, online and, you know, just don't get discouraged. You just got to keep going. I'm, I'm 66 years old. Now. Yeah, you don't look it. Thank you. Yeah. But I am. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, thank you, but that doesn't change the fact that I am. A little I pressure am. on this sensitive one here. Let me see if we get a little bit more now. Shoot, I ain't got time to raise these grown-ass men chasing behind these young skirts. <laughs> I do good on myself. There you go. That's good. I'm happy. Oh, here's some. You got some pretty good ones here. A little pressure there. We did great. Most old men nowadays, they want these younger women, so I ain't got time. Yeah. And then the older women, they want to be cougars. <laughs> I ain't got time. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know, you, a lot of times, uh, you know, I hear people that are dating when they're over 60. They want to mm -hmm. meet, meet somebody that maybe have a glass of wine with or go see a movie. That would be nice, yeah, but. Yeah, somebody to share stories with, mm -hmm. and, you know what I mean? I ain't trying to raise nobody. <laughs> Some of them men is so immature, they ain't funny. Yeah, that's true. I've heard it. Little pressure there. And you wonder, where did they mama go wrong? I know. And then as old as they are, they could have corrected some of the stuff. But they just <laughs> as stupid as they, man, mm. Mm -mm, I ain't got time. Oh, I don't blame you. I've been by myself 13 years, and I'm finally getting to where I want to get financially. Yeah, that's great. And I don't need nobody coming in raining on that. So you don't need to support anybody. Mm -mm. You don't need a man child. If you can come <laughs> in and fold in like you know a human being supposed to fold in. Yeah. You know, grow together. Don't come in trying to give orders and rules and okay. changing everything in my house. It ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're funny. I'm serious though, Doctor no, Mitch. I've been through you. a lot. All right. So let me get right down here on the edge, and I think we're pretty much pretty good. We got all the way around. You did great. I want to make sure on the tip there, we got all those little pores. Perfect. Well, you did great, and thanks for sharing your stories. <laughs> it's always good to talk with you. Hey, guys, Mr. Popsit here. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, if you liked it, make sure to subscribe and make sure to hit that notification bell so you get notified. I have a lot of new content coming and a lot of cool stuff coming in 2021. I can't wait to tell you guys about in February. Uh, we'll be kind of releasing some news that should be fun. So make sure to hit that subscription button right there, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for popping by.